Hey, greetings from Texas. Well, all of a sudden, the golf cart's not running. So um, I was concerned about the fuel lines, but I got fuel. So it'll actually roll with just the starter motor. So the starter motors, starter relay's working fine. The starter motor's working fine. So it's either down to the uh, ignition coil, which I pulled off, and I uh, I had ordered a new one last week just in case. Uh, I'm not foreseeing this, and um, it's either that or the voltage regulator. So I ordered two of those, or not two of those, but one of each, a new voltage regulator and ignition coil. All right, so this is uh, the old ignition coil. I pulled this, so. Um, anyway, that's, I think it got delivered yesterday, so. Um, I don't seem to be getting a spark to the spark plug. So um, anyway, that's where we are. Let me go ahead and reconnect us to the carburetor. Till I get those pieces in. So, all right, I thought I'd give you an update on what was going on. Sabrina had uh, drove it over to wash it off in preparation to paint it. And after she got done, it wouldn't run. So hopefully the, uh, I think it's the ignition coil if it's not getting a spark, so. We'll have to wait and see. Anyway, um, the saga continues. Uh, there was one bonus of working on the golf cart. Um, this was hidden away in the uh, dash tray, in case of nine millimeter ammo. So, after I get done with this, I'm gonna work off some uh, energy shooting these rounds. Okay, so I was working on the golf cart and walking back to the house, making a ton of noise. Sabrina's got the door open with the uh, watching YouTube and there are two deer standing at my feeder. And they watched me walk up and um, my uh, rifle's in the blind. I started walking to the blind and that big buck ran off. So uh, the doe just stayed there. Anyway, that's how it goes. Look at that, coming back from my shop, figures. There's that nice buck I was waiting for.